Right, hey, it's space, and uh, here we go. NBA 2K19 and another season of my team. Hitting the reset button on the squad and ready to do it again. But were we ready after last season? And for us to come back to my team, we needed changes. Big changes to make the my team experience fun to play again. So we picked up the game Friday night. Weren't sure what we were getting. Actually, didn't pay attention to a lot of the hype over the summer. Just want to get our hands on the game and check it out. So we spent most of Saturday afternoon and evening playing the game and working the auction house. And wow, let's go through some of the changes we're noticing. And and of course, share with you some ways to start making coins. Actually, the best method to make coins right now. Making coins and getting rewards, the theme of this vid. This game shouldn't be driven by having to work the auction house. You should be rewarded for playing the game. Home screen of the first thing we're seeing are the daily trials. <laughs> yeah, the rewards. Pretty meager, but it's a start, and they're visible, and they're updated daily. As the season goes on, would love to see them do more with this. Increase the award amount, or earn a pack, reward card, or token for knocking one out. Underneath the daily trials, you see goals. This is where you can track your progress on unlocking the auction house creating uniforms and arena, and earn some bonus reward tokens for playing the various game modes. Domination, the new triple threat, multiplayer challenges, schedule mode, and for card collecting. Yes, card collection rewards are back. And noticing a trend here, the game not totally driven by the purchase of VC. Players getting rewards for just playing the game. Let's check out the reward cards that can be earned from collecting these reward tokens. They're laid out by tier, and it's a progression. You need to work your way through each tier, unlocking 10 before moving on to the next tier. Party Pete ran a ton of triple threat yesterday, did pretty well collecting those reward tokens. He was able to move up to that sapphire tier. There you can find players like Shump, Sean Bradley, Manute Bowl, Ruby Reward, some of our favorite cards sitting there. Isaiah Ryder, Mitch Richmond, Dan Marley, Eddie Jones. Not terribly hype over the Amethyst Reward cards. Dirt could be nice. And then that Diamond and Pink Diamond Reward tier. Grinding for Diamond Mellow. Obviously a popular choice. And check it out here on Sunday. 12 people have already redeemed this card. Page are going to be nice. Richard Lewis, that stretch big. Definitely going to grind for those pink diamonds. Paul Pierce, Matumbo, Tim Duncan, Grant Hill and Stockton all look solid. <laughs> Love that the big men don't have a 90 plus open shot three. The Galaxy Opal is Wilt, the ultimate reward. So everybody getting after it. Yeah, the token grind is real. And in just a bit, we're going to show you how we're cashing in on it big time. Absolutely loving triple threat. Three on three fun returns to my team. And options to play either online or against the CPU for packs, coins, and those important reward tokens. Domination, historic dom, and all-time dom back. And good news, the reward packs, they are improved with badges, contracts. Definitely worth your time to grind through it. At the end, you'll be able to earn Amethyst Mark Eaton, Diamond Bernard King, and Pink Diamond Maurice Lucas. Not terribly hype over picking these up. Uh, for this game mode, it's definitely the journey of earning those coins and packs and probably not the reward at the end. We'll see how the cards play when we get there. Schedule mode returning for a second season. And 2K, listen, they shortened the schedule in half. Good coin rewards. 6,400 coins total for grinding a schedule, plus what you earn for playing the game. And I love that there is a team throwback pack waiting for you at the end. This is big. Give us more free packs for playing the game. For Triple Threat, there are packs, tokens, and coins to be earned. Definitely digging Triple Threat early, uh, but beware, it's going to get sweaty uh, because you choose all three players you're going to bring to the match. Like Blacktop, where you only brought one card and then spun the wheel for two random teammates. Gameplay was balanced, which was good for the casual player. Uh, not going to complain too much here, though. This is our game mode, where, yeah, we're chucking lobs for days. Now, first weekend, and with it, right now is the best time to make coins because, really, everything has value. What is the most value? If you follow our channel, you are looking for items that have the best profit margin and how you can keep your auction house full. Yeah, keeping 50 items up at all times. And right now, we are cashing in on this token grind. Check it out. Go to your collection. Go to the 19 current NBA team pages, and on each team page, you're going to see every player on that team. You collect every player for that team, you are earning 20 reward tokens. Finish all the team sets, and one of the goals for completionist is the reward. Yeah, 75 tokens. And right now, everybody hustling to collect these tokens. We showed you on that reward page. You can see where the community's at. There are people already getting into that diamond tier, which is crazy. So with that hustle, people are willing to overpay. We noticed right away, silvers, which should be worthless, have a ton of value. As some were able to flip for 10 to 15k pretty quick. Others, 4 to 5k. The profit margin on these flips is crazy. Teams are targeting 76ers, Bulls, Clippers, Hawks, Heat, Hornets, Jazz, Kings, Magic, Mavs, Nets, Nuggets, Pacers, Spurs, Trailblazers, Wizards. Of those, the ones I had the most success with were the Nuggets, Heat, Bulls, Jazz, and Wizards. Check it out. Take some time and look at the cards in the set. What I'm looking at are how many are up and what are the cheapest buy nows. And how much time is remaining on the auction. It'll tell you. Demand for that card. Some golds have value too. And this is where it takes some effort. Auction House is different this year. Yeah, it's slower to scroll through cards. At first, we were like, well, this sucks. But honestly, this is actually good. People that don't want to hassle with looking up the value of a card, they are throwing cards away, and we're right there to scoop them up and help them reprice them. And yeah, this is the first weekend. Auction House is hopping. Make those coins. Me at close to 450,000 coins, and I've got 50 items up and probably another 50 to post. Now that I've got a little stash of empty cash, I'm gonna play the game. And that's what we want. A game that is rewarding to play. Like I said, Triple Threat looks 
absolutely amazing. Maybe we'll see you there. We'll definitely be there chucking lobs. Now, likes, you know we appreciate them. Sub, so you're checking out that next vid. Party Pete, this is Space. 2K19, here we go. We're out.